Okay, guys. Uh, Edward Melan, how are you, sir? Good to see you. I'm very well. Yourself? Not bad. Not bad. The only thing I, I regret is I'm supposed to be in, uh, in Geneva celebrating Geneva Watch Days with you, but unfortunately, it's still a little bit challenging for me to travel. Well, it's different without you here. I mean, yes. finally, we can meet a few people, but uh, unfortunately, not everybody. And uh, okay. we miss you next time. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. That's very kind of you. I just got a, a reminder from another brand that said they're holding an event in Florence and they asked, uh, will you be coming? And I was like, <laughs> and, uh, I'd like to be there, but it's, it's, um, it's a little bit challenging during this, this exceptional year, shall we say. But, you know, it's been an interesting time also because despite 2020 having, let's say, um, one of the greatest challenges uh, that we've ever faced, uh, you've had an incredibly productive year and a very dynamic year, right? Um, let's talk, first of all, about how uh, the collaboration with M E N F went, because I hear the watches are sold out everywhere. It was it was incredible. I think both Max and, I, and, and our team are, are surprised as how successful it's been, both commercially, but also in terms of, um, of communication. I think a lot of people discovered the brands, a lot of, of love came towards our, both our brands and, um, and we see a momentum since that is incredible. And, and yeah, as you said, the, uh, the it was commercially a huge success. Um, you know, both brands also managed to sell some directs through our e-commerce platform, and that helped us tremendously in, in those difficult times. We actually had a very good year so far, and I think, Absolutely. of course, as you said, we had a very productive, the streamliner chronograph beginning of the year, then the MBNF. So we knew we were up with some pretty nice silver bullets, but um, I think it saved us in a way. It's phenomenal, you know, and I, and I think what's really nice about that watch is it brought a whole new audience to the Moser, but at the same time, it highlighted to the world that Moser, from an engineering, a watchmaking, from a technical uh, perspective, there's a great value proposition there, you know? Definitely. I think there was also a very, very strong message that came at the right time about collaboration, explaining that, you know, in an industry where a lot of people are trying to fight each other, we, there are ways to try to find synergies, try to find ways to work together, uh, especially in the, in the time of a pandemic like this one, where, you know, you could say, you know, we, do, we stop everything and try to uh, survive, or you try to do things like this, which is very constructive and proactive. I think the message we send there will, um, will uh, influence and, pro and hopefully um, bring other collaborations to the market. That's wonderful. I totally agree with you. I've never really believed in, in traditional competition. I've always thought of uh, it more in terms of building community. Yeah, that's it, man. That's such a dope watch. It's actually so, the, 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 the edition that we exclusively sell on our website. That's the ice blitz. That's the fifth edition. We decided to do one more. I don't know if some have seen it. 15 pieces of that one. It's cool also because I think the eyes of the entire industry were looking very carefully at what you, know, you and Max were doing and how the results would be. And I think it's yeah. also a demonstration that, look, there's no one that's not affected by this year, probably financially, but if people are creating great watches that are really genuine and authentic and, uh, and have something original to say and not charging a crazy price for them, you know, there's still an appetite for, for great watches. So bravo. And limited, and limited. I think it's, you have to be careful how many you make. Um, if something is available now and might not be available tomorrow, then people are ready to, to, to invest. And it's something that will retain value as a strong message, as we said. And um, I think what, what is being hit the most is really the things that are, that are not luxury in the sense that it's available everywhere and, and sometimes overproduced. And people say, well, I don't need to buy it now. It's going to be there in six months or 12 months, whenever we're out of this, maybe 18 months, whenever, as soon as possible, hopefully. Um, that's being hit hard. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, so uh, I guess the question I would have for you is, was it always the plan to launch two Streamliner watches within the same year? Yeah. 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 I mean, we wanted to, uh, to launch the Chrono as the, the iconic product. And, um, and to be frank, we will continue with that amazing movement in the Streamliner uh, in the future. It's been sold out very quickly. We're delivering the last six pieces this month and they, uh, they're all on the wrist of uh, amazing people around the world. A lot of new Moser owners that didn't have a Moser before. It opened new horizons for us. And, um, and we always wanted to, to launch the, the three, three, Streamliner three hands. We were actually planning to, to present it at Watches and Wonders. But since it didn't took, uh, take place, then uh, we, we postponed that to, uh, to now. Geneva Watch Days. And what's interesting is it's only one dial. 
a few years back, we would have probably made three different dyes to make sure, you know, we get the volumes. But now it's, uh, we, I think we, we build confidence. We have this, this, uh, this flow, this momentum, which allows us to, uh, to decide this is, this is the color. It's matrix green and that's it. And yes. to be honest, I, I love this color. I, I, before we did the cosmic green, I would have never thought that, the, that we, I, w- I would like green. And actually this color is amazing. There's so many reflections. It goes like from a, a pretty kind of olive green all the way to almost like a copper, copper mix with green. And that's the beauty of our dials. I think we, uh, we've been respected and recognized for the beauty of those free made dials and finding new colors is always a challenge. But I think in this case, and we had a lot of iterations to, 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 uh, to find that right color because we wanted, we didn't want something too funky, uh, too bright for that particular, you know, it's a very silver case. We wanted something that uh, is both elegant, but at the same time has a strong personality. And I think we, we managed to strike the right note there. That's awesome, man. You know, I, I also like the fact that you guys have uh, launched colorful watches this year. I think at some moment, I think whether it's conscious or unconscious, uh, I think we're all looking at these and they, they make us feel optimistic, you know. And it's funny, this is the second green watch this year that I think is really cool. The other one was the, the Blancpain 50 Fathoms Bathy Scoff that they did for like the uh, Hammerhead. Beautiful. Shark. Yeah, I saw that one. I, I, I really liked oh. it. I think it's beautiful. Yeah, exactly. uh, also a little bit of fume in there. I mean, there's definitely yeah. a gradient of color. I don't think it's, it yeah. goes towards black. It goes towards yeah. something else, but uh, definitely a, a nice, uh, a nice, a nice uh, dial and a beautiful watch that they did there. Well, I really like how you've combined the fume also with the soleil effect as well, which brings so much sort of like a, a dimension to that watch. And I have so to the say- first, like- the first chrono we did, um, we did a, a griffe. So there was a, a, this, this uh, lines, uh, this satiné from the top, the bottom or the bottom to the top um the problem with with bright colors it creates a mirror effect so it would be beautiful in under certain angles and suddenly it becomes like a mirror and, and too bright so we decided to, to not to put that in this uh, particular model and go back to the original uh fume dials from uh, moser with the sunburst and it works I- under every angle and you see all those beautiful reflections i don't know if it comes across in the with the camera but uh I think yeah. whatever angle you look at, if you're outside, inside, whatever, the the, the reflections are beautiful. It's beautiful. And, and I have to say the integration between the bracelet and the watch, it looks amazing. It looks like it's just super flush. Uh, the bracelet, which has been praised by everyone that's tried it on, great design. Very organic, uh, huh? Yeah, yeah. Great size as well, 40 mm, you know? And, 40 and mm like with a with a nine, 9.9 millimeter thick. It's a it's, uh, 120 meter water resistant, so... Obviously, it's, uh, you know, we want something that people can wear without any worries, go swimming, whatever. Uh, there's still a few of the watches from the 70s that, uh, that don't go to 100 uh, meters. Um, I think it's a pity. I think it's the kind of watch you want to wear and not worry about. Absolutely. Ah, really cool watch. Absolutely love it. So the movement is um, our automatic uh, gold rotor, um, three days powers of central seconds. So... I mean, it's something that we've been using in the Pioneer in the past and the en- Endeavor uh, concepts. Um, it's a very robust uh, 3 hertz uh, movement, um, big rotor, um, well skeletonized, so you can really see the, the, the movement inside. There's always the, the, the engraving, the Moser, um, the Moser uh, hallmark engraved since 1828 on all our movements. Uh, the Moser escapement with our hairsprings. Uh, as I said, minimum three days power reserve. They usually run up to five days. Um, it's, a, it's a 30 millimeter movement. So it feels uh, very, I mean, it's, it's really a good presence at the back. It's not like one of those small movements, uh, 25.6, that feels lost in the middle of, a, of the back case. Here, it really feels uh, part of the watch. And that's an element that I really want when I develop a watch is really to try to, to make the watch as small as possible around the movement. Mm. And, uh, and that, because I mean, that's the beauty of what we do and try to bring the movement as close as possible. If you look at the, I mean, here I have the chronograph and the, and the, uh, and the set the second, you can, you can see how both feel really the, the, the back case. And yeah. you, so you can really appreciate that the full uh, beauty of those, those, uh, those movements. Maybe on the dye side, also the hands are, are we using the Globalite? Um, I don't know if you have pictures of that, but Globalite is this ceramic uh, Luminova uh, technology that we've been using on the numerals of our heritage in the past, also on the hands of the, the first streamliner and the um, auto, uh, flyback automatic chronograph. 
So there's this these special hands that we develop, which um, which we personally um, love uh, because they're different. Um, it's a strong identity for for the brand. They're curved. You can see it on the minute hands. Then the minute hand is slightly curved at the end. It's very long. Um, also a second uh, hand, and then there's a very subtle uh, track, uh, second track. You can see it's actually it's, it's slightly gray on this on the original chronograph. We had it in white. Mm -hmm. I, I wanted it a little bit more subtle. It's there, but it's not prominent too much on this uh, on this watch. Actually, here in the dark, you don't see it at all. Uh, in the bright sun, you will see it very very well. Um, but we like, and you know, at Mosa, we like to keep things quite clean and 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 elegant. And I think that's the right strike there. You know, I, I love this period. It's very interesting to me also because, you know, for a long time, there was basically two uh, entrenched integrated bracelet sports watch players, which kind of dominated the market. And then I guess when people started coming into this market, there were some eyebrows raised. Do people belong in this market or not? And I say, absolutely. They're, they're totally justified to be in here. And when you see something like this, the streamliner that you've created, you can also show people that you can bring enormous creativity and enormous originality to this genre of watch um, without necessarily replicating what someone else is doing. It's totally its own thing. It's bracelet, it's completely its own thing, and it's cool, man. Well, it's, it's a risk. I mean, you need, um, you need to, to find, I mean, it's, to be honest, as part of the process, we design many watches with integrated bracelets. And 99% of, of those watches reminded me of one of those iconic, you know, 5711, the Royal Oak, uh, or the oyster, and um, and that's not what we wanted. But I love those those models. I mean, I grew up doing the Royal Oak, so you know you will never take it away from from, from me. But at the same time, I don't want to create a, a, a want to be Royal Oak. I want to create something that represents Moser, and is polarizing, but has the potential of becoming one day in forty years, like the Royal Oak now, uh, become an icon. Absolutely. So we took the we took the decision of going a little bit offbeat and trying to find things that are. Moser, minimalistic, uh, comfortable, uh, yet very different from what is the trend today or has been the trend in the last years. Um, you can find similarities with models. Some people said, oh, there's a little bit of Porsche design. There's a little bit of Ebel. I think it's impossible not to make a link to anything if you create a watch today. But at the same time, it's so different from, from as, a, as a combination, it's very different from everything else. So oh, I'm super excited, we're super happy. As I said in the beginning, I mean, a lot of people who, who bought this watch never bought a Mosa before. So it opened to a new community of people who looked at us like, oh, they just do those uh, simple dials and uh, and classic watches. Right. So that's, that's not the end of it. There's tons of things you can do with Mosa. Fantastic. Edward, I want to thank you so much for joining us. Congratulations on the new watch. Congratulations on having a great year. And, uh, and, and congratulations on the amazing creativity you bring to the industry, man. Bravo. Thank you, and, and hope to see you in person very soon. We miss you. We'll make it happen. Take care, brother. All right. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye.